Hello folks, uh, Sean Mize here, and in this video, I'm going to talk with you about designing an upsell funnel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to design it in my autoresponder, and obviously I'm going to video it. We'll, we've got that rolling right now, so you can kind of see how I do it. And this will be a higher priced funnel that I use to sell on the back end after someone buys an initial product of, say, a hundred to a thousand dollars and then they'll go into this funnel to invest at higher levels okay and there's there's some keys to operating with the upsell funnel and there's some keys to understanding what should go into it the, the key here one of the keys is that whatever it is that you're putting in that upsell funnel should be targeted or related to what someone needs after purchasing your initial training so if somebody buys an initial training what are they likely to need after that? Now, one way to find that out is to sell the initial training and then send an email out two weeks later that says, what are you struggling with? You know, you purchased whatever it was. Hopefully it was good training. But let me ask you this. What are you still struggling with? Okay, now, what you may find is that some of the answers people give you are really things that should have been covered in the first product. Maybe you go back in and you add that to the first product. But what you often find is that people say, well, I need help with implementing something. I need, I need more information about various topics. And then that's what you'll create your upsell offers with. So your upsell offers will be um, the other topics. The upsell offers could be implementation items such as coaching or a six-week uh, personal class, etc., etc. The upsell funnel should have more advanced and more expensive training than the initially bought training. Now, this operates for two reasons. Number one, generally people don't get the full level of results that they might be able to get if just from the very first product that they purchased because we generally price and value that initial product at a low enough price and a low, low enough value that we can have a wide net of individuals that come in. However, for people to oftentimes get real change in their life, they need something more, whether that's a coaching program or it's a longer term class, and that would be more advanced and more expensive than the initially bought training. What we also like to have is something that's sequential in, in offering. So somebody buys product A, then the upsell might be a particular class or a coaching program. We may have several upsells. We may have an upsell that's a coaching program or a class. We may have an upsell that's a combination of several products or trainings. If, however, people do not respond to the higher priced and higher value training programs, then over time we could then go back to revealing offers that are reduced in price and value. So I'm going to show you how this is done. I'm going to do this in Infusionsoft and it makes it easy to do what I'm getting ready to share with you. That's one of the reasons that I use Infusionsoft. But before I do that, I'd like to kind of give you two ideas for what types of products make good upsells. Okay, and by the way, I want to define upsell. For me, an upsell is something, someone purchases something first, and over the next, you know, two weeks to eight weeks, they purchase something else that is upwards in value or price. To me, that's an upsell. I'm not talking about something that is an immediate upsell. You know, someone purchases something today, and then you immediately offer them something else. So when I'm talking about this upsell funnel, I'm talking about something that's going to occur over two weeks to maybe eight weeks. We like to see implementation items like classes or coaching programs in this upsell funnel. Another thing that I find works really, really well is packages. So if somebody, let's say that you initially sell one training for $300 on topic A, something that does really well is packaging five related trainings that would normally sell for 300 a piece if they bought them piecemeal one at a time for maybe 450 or 700 dollars so a significantly reduced price over someone buying every single product one at a time 
Let's go ahead and I'll show you how I do this. And I do this in Infusionsoft, so it's really easy. And I'm not doing this from scratch. In most of these videos, it's, we're not talking about doing something from scratch. In, in my case, we're talking about an advanced funnel. And I've kind of been clear that this training is not beginner training. It's advanced training. And so over time, I've created a number of campaigns. And I've, I've shown you one in, the, in one of the other videos. I kind of showed you my front-end campaign and that this is what my normal campaign looks like. And it has a number of components inside of it. I've called these modules. So it has a number of modules inside of it. And each one of these modules, and I'll just pull one of them up, but each one of these modules contains a few emails. And then there are some modules here that I don't even have in the existing system, but they are extraneous to it because they're not linked. So if we just open up one of these modules, we're able to look in and we're able to see all of these emails that are going to go out day after day or hour after hour, whatever the case is, 11 o'clock, 4 o'clock, whatever. So each one of these modules contains a number of, of emails. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a brand new campaign here. And I'm going to do this. And this really isn't designed to be a tutorial in Infusionsoft, but I am going to do this from kind of the beginning here. So I'm just going to click here on Add a Campaign. And this campaign is going to be my front end upsell campaign and in this campaign let's see I'm gonna have a goal which will be I'm not going to institute this but this basically will be the trigger action if somebody buys something I'll put trigger a trigger in here that will trigger this to occur if somebody buys a lower ticket item okay, and then what I'm going to do is we're going to put a number of sequences in here from another uh, campaign. And I think to do that, we'll drag a new campaign in here. I'll click Sequence, and then I'll copy from a campaign. So I'm going to copy a sequence from another campaign. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the trial coaching campaign in. Remember, we talked about a nice upsell would be a coaching campaign. So this is a campaign I've created in the past, so I don't need to create it again. So this is going to be the 495 trial coaching campaign. Just kind of link these together. When they come out of this campaign, they'll go into another one. Now, that may be the first one. I find coaching does really well after a purchase. If somebody makes a purchase seven to ten days later, they, they tend to graduate to, uh, to coaching if given the opportunity. So then I've also got a package that is a combination of multiple products and so we'll tie this one in there and this will be the total access campaign okay and let's just put one more in here so you're just able to see what I'm doing I'm just I'm just batching together various campaigns. Now, I could have created these from scratch. I could have created from scratch a brand new package of multiple items, right in the sales page for it, written all new emails for it. And if you're starting from scratch, then you can obviously do that as well. Um, because of the fact that we're wanting to make these videos as concise as possible, then we're sort of seeing this in sort of a pre-done fashion and I'm gonna that what this is this is remember we said that if someone does not respond to the higher priced offers we'll run a lower priced offer and that's what this is this is uh, a lower priced offer and we'll title it and, and so what's gonna happen is when someone makes that lower ticket purchase they're gonna be then upgraded to this higher ticket uh, upsell campaign 
and we're going to expect them to begin making purchases in this campaign. And just go ahead and kind of go back to the list and that'll save it all in. And so that right there, what I've just done is I've shown you how I might create an upsell campaign. I've shown you what I put into that campaign, more advanced, more expensive, coaching packages, classes, combinations of products.